Dubai to host first physical global travel and tourism events since the onset of the pandemic. We saw the challenges when the lockdown happened. We saw people who, were, who found themselves stuck in the destination, unable to, uh, uh, to go back home. Uh, so Dubai extended their visa during that period of time. And we took that as an opportunity and rolled out the uh, virtual working program because people started to really enjoy uh, what Dubai has to offer and the way that Dubai has started to take the new norm uh, into effect. We hope that EDM Expo 2020 will in, uh, enhance the uh, coming from tourism and also uh, business events uh, to Dubai, especially and to UAE generally. It's all about uh, a seamless, touchless um, experience. Uh, it's having all of the measures in place, uh, including um, you, you will have to register prior to coming on site. We will not have on site registration this year. So you will need to come to the event with your badge or download it onto your, um, your, hand, your handsets. We have gone through uh, a lockdown uh, in Dubai Airport back in 25th of March. Then back in uh, 9th of May, we recommenced our service uh, back to repatriation operation. But that recommencement was mainly happening on uh, putting the right measures in place. So we recovered quite a bit of um, more than 85 percent of uh, of the network that uh, that we had uh, earlier. Uh, and and now the next focus for us would be how we can bring in back the capacity. But the capacity will be purely determined by. Uh, by the easing up the protocols by many countries. Uh, being um, on its 28th year, um, this is our third year as the hotel partner uh, and I'm very excited to be back um, at the World Trade Center. Obviously we're working very closely with um, Reed Exhibitions, um, the World Trade Center to make sure that obviously it's a safe um, and successful show um, and we'll be back um, in the heart of the hospitality division um, to really showcase a lot of what we've done within our hotels over the last 12 months and also what is coming because there is a, a pipeline of, of, of hotels that we have ready to open this year. Tourism Philippines discusses the efforts put towards a restart. The focus should be on how to make testing readily available to the larger portion of the population, especially the markets poised to restart traveling. This could very well boost traveler confidence and support domestic tourism resurgence and can later on usher in the reopening of borders to the international markets. Relative to this, I'm glad that the tourism frontline workers in airports and quarantine hotels have already been included in the priority list of the government's COVID-19 immunization program. At present, at present, we are already coordinating to include other tourism workers. Fly Dubai to launch 11 destinations in Russia. UAE extends suspension on travelers from India. Saudi Arabia launches new $530 million funds to develop tourism destinations.